Well, hello and welcome to Fat Squatch Games. I'm Fat Squatch and I'm glad you're here. Oh yeah, that's right. It's clan tournament time and uh, we've had a couple awesome battles so far. But we are bringing you a two vs two battle during the December clan tournament. That's right, Tam Quack seven 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 and Armatop, his buddy, going up against a couple Soko warriors. That's right, Great Double G. What? Great Double G is in this two vs two? Whoa! And Frank Machetti. That's right. These two are battling and uh, against Tam Quack seven 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 from the Dutch Adla clan and his buddy Armatop. It's gonna be awesome, I'm excited. If you guys haven't watched the first two battles so far that Mr. Extreme has put up, you better go check it out. I'll make sure to pop them up right here. There you go, there's one of them. And here is the other one. Yes, go check those out. I'll put them at the end screen as well. You don't wanna miss it. So far, this has been an awesome, epic clan tournament. Here we go, let's jump into the battle! Alright, okay, here we go. Oh yes, this is a fun map. Alright, he's got his construction yard going up. Okay, yeah! Come on, show us what you got. There he goes, his buddy over there. Okay, moving quickly, look at that, we got some supply up. Yes. Oh yeah, now this map... There are a couple spots, it's kind of wide open for the most part. So depending on what side you're on, you got to use different strategies and uh, kind of build your base differently. Because uh, one side actually has a hill that you go up onto, and the right side is pretty much all valley. Here we go, look at that, he's getting in there, he's getting those crates. Those guys, I haven't seen any blue or green quite yet. There's the blue, okay. Better get over there and get that resource container. So they're grabbing those containers really quick. We're not even at a minute. Here we go. Yeah, he's using that gold uh, scouting boost, which is smart. Especially when you're doing a clan tournament battle here. Now remember, these two versus two battles that happen during the clan tournament time, they actually count as bonus points. So let's see who gets the bonus points for their clan in this battle here. Oh, look at that blues over there, okay. I wonder who, I wonder who's who here on the, on the opposite side. The blues scouted red's base. Okay. Let's see, they're, they're working well together. Yellow has yet to really scout out green, but green is up in the back of yellow's base. All right, we got some more supply going up here. Gonna rock a gold boost for resources. All right, very good. Moving right along, we got one, two, three, four supply centers. We got three barracks and a factory. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And he's got a couple barracks. He's upgrading that HQ, very good. Nice job, yellow. All right. HQ's being upgraded on the red side as well. I wonder if we're going to see some super weapons on this one. That would be fun. But I doubt it because this is such a wide open uh, map. If whoever basically can control the ground and apply pressure properly will probably have the advantage. We'll see here in a moment what happens. But things are moving really quickly and we're just now at three minutes. Look at that coyote. That's right. Sorry, Mr. Assault. Mr. Coyote's coming through. Nice job, Mr. Coyote. Whoa, there's another another assault. They're just going at it. Oh, nah, Mr. Coyote's like, see you later. I'm out of here. Man, I love I love this map actually with because the roads. I love how the roads are all cracked and broken up. We go, oh, another little infantry at, uh, battle happening right there. So Yellow's base is cooking right along. That coyote, now Yellow's going to try and move that coyote through down there to scout out green since he hasn't scouted him out yet. Usually the coyote's a nice quick scout for you. 
but there's just quite a few assaults. So it uh, looks like green's gonna be able to stop yellow. All right, there goes Mr. Red. <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, Tam Quack right there. There he goes, going right along the bottom of Blue's base. Now Blue's got uh, four resource containers, or resource centers. Nice. Oh, look at yellow. Dang, got a got a special vehicle factory up, and he's upgrading that factory as well as the HQ. He's got another factory that just got built behind the first factory. Wow, okay. All right. Moving right along here, we're going to start seeing some units being produced here, I believe, in just a moment. We're at four and a half minutes, and let me tell you, it's getting hot. Here we go. Got the Jaguar. Mr. Jaguar is coming out to play. I love the water, actually, too. I believe in this one, you can actually build uh, your naval factory in the water and actually do some stuff in the water there. Oh, shoot. His battery's getting low. He's got 15%. He better hurry up. Come on. Don't, don't let this die on us here. Okay. All right. He's, got, he's upgrading, man. Upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. Green is scouting him out, though. Look at we got. Green's also got some assaults. Just, just making sure there's no yellow coming down. But that fortress is doing a good job. Now, yellow's armadillo is going to try and take out that fortress. Here comes a blue fortress. All right. They do love to scout with fortresses. It's a very good... Oh, now there's jaguar, though, so that's not going to work very well. Now, if red only had infantry... That would work pretty decently, but those sniper towers were also doing a very efficient job. Okay. Nice. Well, we got... Everybody seems to be setting up their base. Everybody's comfortable. Oh, we've got a porcupine and a mammoth. Very nice. I always love to see some mammoth. Thank you. Yes. All right. So... For the most part, it seems like all the commanders are really, you know, controlling their sides of the map. Let's see who applies pressure first. A little another gold boost there for resources. Producing some more vehicles. Very nice. All right. What do you usually do on this map? I'd love to hear it. Put your answer in the comments below. Let us know. How do you like to attack and what strategy do you like to use on this map? Now, green is chasing that armadillo. Oh, man. Great thing about armadillo, it's always great if you have a big group of them to attack and just kind of get the enemy following you and then if they chase you, the armadillo can still shoot while it's running off. And running away that way and retreating so green has actually come over with some assaults now to the left of red's base that's what i was talking about lots of entrances and openings on this map you got to pay attention to them all right green's got zeus and yes long range here we go but yellow's got oh yellow's got the fog and some jaguar we got our first little bit of action here with some larger, bigger units. Here we go. I don't think that chameleon's going to make it out of there. Move it. Oh! Wow. These guys are really neck and neck here as they're building. Very good. Well, now, unfortunately, we haven't really scouted out Green's base yet, so we don't know what's going on over there. I wonder if that's G or if he's blue. Let's, uh, you know. Now, the, lead, the leader of uh, the Soka Warriors is one of these blue or green. I'm not sure which one he is. So it's kind of interesting. He's uh, we got to catch him in a two versus two battle here before his uh, one versus one clan tournament battle is released. Let's see here. Two versus two is always an interesting one because obviously there's more players, more things can happen, there's more variables. 
Okay, we got, oh, now red's moving on down. There seems to be just one bunker right there on that side, that right side. I wonder if he's going to go for that. Oh, yep, those mammoths are going to go ahead and take care of that bunker. Okay. Very good. Look at that. Great placement. Plenty of distance. And here goes yellow. Now, this is good because yellow is attacking green here, and green's got to have to be busy defending himself. He can't really go over and help blue out. So let's see if blue can actually defend himself and hold red off. Lots of grenadiers from blue. Or, I mean, heavy assaults, my bad. <laughs> Lots of heavy assaults from blue. But that's just not going to not gonna work, it looks like. Lots of mammoth. Red really brought quite a bit of mammoth there, and I like that. Okay. Oh, man. But does blue have a surprise for red? I'm a little closer, red. <laughs> oh, taking out that other bunker. Nice. Oh, more assaults and more heavy assaults is what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing any, I don't see any hammers or anything or Zeus's or anything. Um, what's going on down there? Come on, Blue. Represent those sucker warriors. Come on, buddy. Oh, we're throwing up some walls. I don't know if that, I don't understand. I don't know what that's going to do, but hopefully it'll help. Yellow's making their, its way down here with its fog of war. Jaguars and porcupines. Green's doing a good job, though, of keeping the battle up here and not down by his base. So those Zeus's are holding him off. Chipping away, though. Yellow's chipping away. Green can't help blue, but blue needs some help right now. Ah, oh, those mammoth are just doing a great job. Now, Red's doing a fantastic job of placing his guys and moving his guys. See how he's positioned them? With those jaguars up front, porcupine behind, and the mammoth behind them to the left and then up, up at the top there. There it goes. Yellow's turning on the fog and going to apply pressure and go ahead and push down through there. That Zeus is running. I don't know where the Zeus is going, but it's going somewhere. Oh, here comes some assault. Going to try to slow him down. Throwing up a wall. Okay, green's building a wall. But blue needs some help. We've got Vertex. Whoa! Ah. So, there's just too much red happening over here. And not enough blue units to, do, to stop him. Look at that. Those Jags are moving nicely. Up, got Porcupines down there. And those Mammoth are just having a good old time. Now, yellow retreated back up to his base okay not sure why I mean that wall I guess but uh, I thought maybe he would go around but he's gonna go ahead and just sit pretty up by his base there while red red's taking care of blue I wonder who blue is which of the Stoko warriors is blue I wonder oh green is blowing up his Green just blew up two buildings. I'm not sure what's going on there. He's blowing up more buildings. All of Green's buildings. He's self-destructing. I think he, he, he... They've decided it's not worth it. They have lost. Wow. Wow. Well. Holy cow. Well, that's a two versus two. During the clan tournament. So guess what? Mr. Tamquok777 has earned some points for his clan. So since he played with a stranger and not another clan member of his clan, he'll get one point. But he does get another five points for uploading this video to the Fat Cloud. That's right. So he's going to get six points for the Dush Adla. Now, Great Double G and Frank Machetti. Great job, you guys. It happens. Two versus two. Anything can happen. And it did. It was a great battle. But guess what, great double G? You still have a chance to get some points for your clan, so good luck. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. This two versus two 
among champions. Hope you're watching more of this amazing tournament. Don't miss it. There's two battles that have been out and Extreme has them on his channel. I've also added them to the playlist, so make sure you watch them. I'll put them here at the end screen. And don't miss a battle, all right? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next battle.